Welcome to Mark D. Maker. My name is Mark Taylor, and today we're going to be looking at ornaments, Christmas ornaments that you can make with a scroll saw or even a coping saw. So this is cut out with a scroll saw and then carved. Areas rounded out and a little bit of relief carving. It's a way to add a little bit just a little more uh, personal touch to it uh, so it's just not cut out this is this is just cut out and you can see that by doing a little bit of carving rounding off the edges uh, and putting a little bit more work into it you can really make it special put your special touch on it and when you give it to friends or family that really appreciate it. <clears throat> Here's one that's cut out and you can see kind of carved here and then sanded. The edges rounded off. Um, and, and you might want to keep some edges nice and straight like this. Uh, it adds um, it's, it's just a little different. You have rounded edges here and scalloped edges here and then nice sharp edges here. The variety is really nice. <clears throat> I'll show you a couple more. And, and these are just, these angels are just patterns that I got out of a book. And I copied the patterns. Here's see these scallops here. That really adds a lot to it. That makes it look really nice. The wings are rounded. <clears throat> so I get books like these. They're um, scroll saw and, and ornament books. And you can see they come with these patterns in it. And what you want to do, you don't want to ruin your patterns. So what you want to do is, this thing is huge, but you can see all of the different patterns in here that you get. There's a ton of them. And, and there's a whole bunch more of these sheets within the book. <clears throat> so you can see all these basically blueprints is, is what they are. And then the book gets into uh, the artist that, that come up with some of the design and some of the pictures of these ornaments and what they look like. Oh, look, Christmas pickle. I got a video on the Christmas pickle. Check it out. And so, yeah, there's a whole bunch of ornaments in here. There's something for everybody. There's even some, some carving in there. So, and so Christmas, around the Christmas, around the holidays is the time to, to buy these. This is when they're available. <clears throat> this one. You get a couple of patterns in here, and they're just much, they're much bigger patterns. There's a jet airplane in there. Big old tree. There's the plane. There's all kinds of things in here. Look how charming some of this stuff is. <clears throat> so what you do is you, you get your, your pattern, you copy it, and and you take your copy, cut it out, and a little spray adhesive on the back of this and right onto a piece of wood, <clears throat> like that. You drill out the negative space and you cut out the negative space. <clears throat> so the, the way you would do that is with the scroll saw. And the way, check that out. 
It's like a number four plane. Nice. That's one of my favorites. So what you would do is, is you would take the tension off of the blade. I keep mine without the tension on it. And this blade comes off. You can thread it through the hole like so. I need to raise this up so I can get it on there. Hook the blade back in. Put tension on it. And now cut out the center. So I've started on a couple of them here. You can see this one, how the center's been cut out. You can see on this one. And some of these can get pretty intricate and pretty delicate. Now when they get really thin and delicate like this, they, they can be very fragile. So you want to coat it with something um, to give it a little bit of strength. <clears throat> Here's a very intricate pattern. I've already drilled the holes in it, just need to cut it out. I showed this in a video that I have just called Scroll Saw, which looks at a whole bunch of different things. I'm focusing more on uh, decorations, like for a tree on this video. <clears throat> you can see here's some paper still on because I'm still working on this one. <clears throat> Sometimes I start one and, and I really am not sure exactly where I'm gonna go with it, so I'll come back to it later. Here's one that I did that's already painted. <clears throat> and here's one that I just did a drawing and cut out. And it's a little hummingbird getting some nectar out of a little flower. This one's a butterfly that I did. It was actually in a, a one of the the scroll saw magazines. Here's one that's not painted and you can see it's glued on the back and I put a little pin on it. So this is a combination of some scroll saw work and some carving and then burning in the lines and then painting. Here's a dragonfly that I did with uh, the wings are made out of lace wood. There's a little hummingbird. You can tell I like birds, can't you? There's a pair of earrings that you can do on a scroll saw. Scroll saw is a really great tool. It's very safe. When this is running, you could actually put your finger on the back of the blade or on the side of the blade. I don't recommend it, but it only cuts on the downstroke and you have to push into the blade to use it. <clears throat> um, this is one of the first tools I ever got. Um, you can pick up on the lower end of the scroll saw. Um, if you get one used, maybe $50. If you buy a new one, maybe $150. And, and for the high-end ones, you can pay thousands of dollars. <clears throat> this was an old hand-me-down. <clears throat> it's an old Delta. <clears throat> and I happen to really like this scroll saw. It does everything I need it to. Blades. <clears throat> there are all different types of blades that you can get. If I can get it open. There's now there these are in bundles and they're wrapped with a like a copper wire and they're all different sizes. And they even have a blade 
that's called um, it, it's a circular blade. The blade twists. I think I see it right here. <clears throat> you can see how that blade twists around. <clears throat> and by this blade being circular like this, it cuts in all directions. So you don't have to steer it. Um, this would be a really good blade for the beginner. It cuts a little bit of a wide curve, but uh, it's super easy to use because you don't have to you don't have to constantly twist this around and go in the direction of the blade. There's you can just follow the line the whole during the whole cut like so, <clears throat> and uh, you won't have any problems. So let's do a little cutting and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I'll cut out the center there. <clears throat> I will loosen my tension, release it, and there you go. <clears throat> There's the center part cut out. Now, <clears throat> I'm doing three boards at a time, so I'll have three snowflakes when I'm done. I just have it held together with double stick tape, <clears throat> and, and when I'm done, I'll pry it apart. <clears throat> now, I will probably pry this apart before I cut these things so thin because um, the double stick tape is pretty strong. So I'll do all the inside cuts. <clears throat> I'll pry it apart, put it back together with maybe something that's not so strong. Uh, maybe like a little dab of hot glue or something like that. Set up for the next hole. Add the tension back on. You can hear that tension. And we'll cut out this one. So I've cut out this, and I notice there's a little piece of wood in here in the corner, and you can use that blade as just like a little rasp. You can get in the corner there. Here we go. Tension, release, boom. And you'll get pretty fast at this. <clears throat> there's your hold, there's your tension, and you're ready to go again. So there you go, it's pretty easy. It is a great tool, it's great for uh, young people to get on and use. It's a very safe saw, one of the safest cutting type of tools there are. My daughter was using it when she was about eight with a little supervision. So go ahead and, and give it a try. It is a wonderful, wonderful craft. Now I used about a quarter inch basswood that I got from the craft store for most of this. It's not free. Very easy to, uh, to cut and to carve if you decide to carve it. 
uh, and you can you can also round the edges with just sandpaper. It sands very easily. So give it a try, and uh, hope you liked the video. Happy holidays. I'll see you next time.